It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Austria. It's by Next Level Brewing and it's a bottle of this Smoky Melon Smoky Pale Ale. Coming in at 5.7% ABV. There's a look at the label. You can actually see, if you can have a look at the bottle, the actual inside of the beer. See all that suspended loveliness in the, in the bottle there? So it's definitely, if it's not bottle conditioned, it's definitely unfiltered. Uh, there's their bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. Look at that, I was transferring over. Can you see all the suspension from the bottle going into the glass? And then as it's going in, mixing with the air, it's nowhere near. It's almost kind of filtered it out, look. Look at that. So it's a very small one finger, slightly off white head, nice levels of carbonation. It's an amber colored hail, ale. Hail, ale, uh, slight hazy, amber coloured ale, carbonation's great, look at that. Let's get the aroma. Hmm, blimey. Um, this goes back to, uh, I've, been, I, I've been, it's 2016 if you're watching this, two years down the line. I've been drinking quite a few Polish beers the second half of the year and yeah, it's, uh, I've been drinking a lot of Polish smoked beers. And I, I understand them if it was a stout or a porter. Totally understand it. It kind of goes really well with the style. But for me personally, I, I, I struggled to get my head around it in a, in a, in a golden coloured ale. But... I've, I've not tasted it yet, but it smells quite smoky. And you got a little bit of sweet melon in there as well. I could be completely blown away. The only way we're going to com be completely blown away, or completely hate it, is if we try it. Cheers. Actually... It's pretty damn fine. Wow, oh, what a difference. I'm just thinking, oh no, I was smelling the beer and I was, you've probably seen it all over my face. I was like, it's really smoky. It's like, it's like bacon frazzles, the bacon crisps you get. Sweet, a little bit fatty, and then bacon frazzles. The ones you get in Lidl's, you know, a big bag for a pound and they, they you're eating them and they kind of, burning your mouth, burning the inside of your mouth as you eat the whole bag, you know, as you do watching the TV and then you taste it and you go, ah, it's nice, it's juicy from the melon, it's refreshing there's lots of carbonation to lift the beer it's a very well put together beer. It's and it's slightly smoky. It's slightly smoky bacony. Where I was going with this, the the Polish beers were in. I mean, they were crazy smoked. I mean, it was it was unbearable. Some of the some of the smoked beers that I had from Poland, I just just not a fan at all. And I was <laughs> the aroma just just really kind of put me in back in that place, thinking. The guys from, from Next Level Brewing, they've been to Poland and they've tried these smoked beers and they like them. But no, it's, it's, this is more like a traditional German orange beer. And it doesn't surprise me at all because Austria is right next to Germany and they're probably not far away from the brewery at all. And to be honest, I do like the orange beers from, from Germany. They're, they're qu quite weird but quite tasty. And this goes along in that vein. Pilsner malt, smoke malt, and dark cara. And then there's whole melon in the beer. And it's 5.7% ABV. And it's actually very, very refreshing. And that's my honest opinion. I think I like the taste of it. 
a lot more than I like the smell of it. I, I still am not overly keen on the aroma. Because it scares me, or it did scare me. But but when you get over that, when you taste it, it's a lovely, juicy, fantastic, mind-bending beer. I, I really like that. That is one of the best smoked beers that I've ever had, to be honest. Uh, Smoky Melon Smoked Pale Ale. Uh, oh, here we go. Ever heard of prosciutto wrapped melon as an appetizer sure you have but you've definitely never heard of drinking one that's right drinking one this is what we have created the liquid version of that popular starter unusual and perfect for food pairing love food but adore beer well then to next level brewing for <laughs> producing a marvelous marvelous smoky melon beer well done rating It looks good. It's nicely carbonated. It smells not so good, but it tastes wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. My rating for this beer then is... I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10. That's an eight out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. I am... <sighs> Really enjoying the stuff now from Next Level Brew, and I've had their Bitter Freak, which is an amazing, amazing something. I don't know, it's like a thousand IBU uh, IPA, that, incredible beer. Uh, then we had an IPA from them uh, just last week, and now we're having this Smoky Melon, which it's fantastic stuff. Eight out of ten. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! and cheers.